there's been some interesting comments in some of my latest videos, so I thought, you know what, let me just make a video. So I do work out, and there's several reasons, and I think that working out really helps with this. If you are trying to focus on something, if you're working on mathematics, physics, computer science, anything, anything that requires intense focus, it helps, I'm not saying it's necessary, but I think it helps to have some physical activity in your life. And lifting weights is one form of physical activity. I'm not saying it's the only one or it's the best one, it's one form. Whenever you exercise, something happens in your mind. There's chemicals, I believe they're called endorphins, and they are released and they make you feel good. So I actually just finished a workout here and I feel great. I feel my mind is open, as Paul Erdos used to say. Uh, my mind is open. Paul Erdos was a uh, famous Hungarian mathematician and he would travel, he would go door to door from mathematician to mathematician and, and knock on their door and say, my mind is open. And, and he was just brilliant, brilliant man. Um, Erdos was a brilliant mathematician. Anyways, this video is not about Paul Erdos. It's about physical fitness and what it does for your mind. It does help. It genuinely helps clear your mind and I think it helps you. There's people who run every single day. They do it every day because it makes them feel better. I know a person, she wakes up every single morning and she runs somewhere between 15 and 45 minutes and then she goes to work every single day. Even on days she doesn't work, she runs. And she says that she does it for her mental health which is interesting because I do feel that exercise really helps you mentally. It clears, clears your mind. Many of you are probably wondering, what is, what is the workout routine I do? What is the best workout routine? And I always think that the best workout routine is, is the one you can stick to. I'm a big fan of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Ever since I was a kid, I was a fan of Arnold. I have those Arnold posters you saw earlier in the video behind me. I have his book, and he has a routine in his book. And if you know his book, you know what I'm talking about. So when I was a kid, I, like many people, tried that routine. And I did it for a week. And I discovered that I couldn't move. It was so much volume. It there was so many sets and reps that I couldn't handle it. And this is the beginner routine. He has several routines in several of his books. I'm talking about like the most basic one. And it was just too much. You can get to that level, but you need to start slower. And I think that the best workout routine is the one you can stick to. So pick something simple. Let me give you a couple examples of simple workout routines uh, that you can do that I've tried. So really, a really classic routine that will help you is a full body workout. Okay, full body workouts work. And how they work is you basically do like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and you train your entire body. And you do maybe like one or two sets of each movement. This, this just kind of like gets you in the routine of working out. It kind of takes a body that has never trained and turns it into a body that all of a sudden has some stimulus. All of a sudden your muscles are getting stimulus and you're gonna get stronger and you're gonna get bigger and you're gonna notice a difference. But it takes some time, it's gonna take some time. There's a, a famous bodybuilder uh, Reg Park, he was uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's idol, and I'm pretty sure he followed a full body routine. This is a long time ago, I believe 50s or something like that. Very, very old school stuff. Reg Park. And he did a full body routine and he was in great shape. I don't know how popular that is today. I don't really follow many fitness influencers or you know other avenues where they're talking about bodybuilding. I know of them, but I don't really watch the videos. But I know full body used to be a thing, and I've done it. One of the dangers of full body routines that I've experienced personally, if you decide to go that route, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, train your whole body, you know, one to two sets of each exercise, is that it really takes its toll on your immune system. Um, so oftentimes I would get a cold, stuff like that, because you work so hard, when you work really, really hard, your body's in recovery. How it works is, you know, you build your muscles, you tear them down, and then your body has to recover. It uses a lot of energy to recover. You need to eat and drink water, 
all that stuff. Sleep, you know, there's more to it than just lifting weights. Diet's a big part of it. But that's for another video. Full body routines, they're, they're very taxing on you. So again, if you do do a full body routine, just Google full body routine, try to pick something moderate, something beginner, um, and something balanced that works the whole body. You wanna work your chest, your back, your biceps, your legs, your calves, your hamstrings, and try to hit every muscle group. Try to focus on compound movements, squats, squats, bench press, deadlifts. Make sure you're make sure you're doing them correctly, the squat and the deadlifts, so you don't hurt yourself. And as always, consult a doctor and all that stuff. That's what you're supposed to say when you talk about fitness. Most of my videos are about math, so it's pretty harmless. It's like you know, consult a doctor uh, before you work on algebra. Not a big deal, right? But when you're when you're picking up when you're picking up weights, it's really easy to get hurt. It's really easy to get hurt. So full body routines, I think, are a good beginner choice. Another routine that I've had success with in the past and that I'm doing now um, is some variation of push, push, pull legs or push, legs, pull. It doesn't matter how you mix it up. Basically, you do pushing exercises one day, um, you do pulling exercises the other, the other day, and then you do legs the other day. And an advanced routine might be something like you know, push, pull, legs, push, pull, legs, and then rest, and then you start over. Again, it's very difficult, you know, especially when you're working your upper body two days in a row. You're doing push one day and then doing pull the next day. It works, but you have to control the volume. You, you can't really uh, overdo it. As far as specific exercises and stuff like that, well, future video, I'll, I'll get into it. Maybe actually do a workout here on the channel and, like, you know, show you what it's like if you're interested. But, yeah, those are, I think, two good uh, routines for beginners that beginners can use uh, and just try to start with moderation. Don't don't overdo it at the beginning. That was always my problem in the past, especially with full body workouts, even with, with push-pull legs. I would overdo it. Uh, just moderation is key and, and be consistent. And I think uh, it can help you. It can, it can help your mind. It can help you with your studies. It can help you physically and mentally and in every possible way. So yeah, that's what I have to say about working out. Hopefully this video has been helpful to someone out there. If you want to learn mathematics, I do have math courses, not fitness courses. I do have math courses on uh, my website, mathsorcerer.com, uh, which actually redirects to freemathvids.com. But the courses, uh, go to that website, click the links, and it'll take you to Udemy. Udemy is where the courses are. But please use my links. If you use my links, I'm pretty sure you get uh, the best possible prices uh, because I lowered the price on all my courses to the bare minimum. I've got a course on college algebra that's pretty good uh, for beginners, a good place to start. I've got various calculus courses. Some have like long lectures, some have short lectures. They have assignments, uh, differential equations courses. I have a couple courses uh, on proof writing and stuff like that. I don't have a course on exercising. Not yet, maybe someday, I don't know. Right, this is, this is a math channel, so. But yeah, I, I think uh, it helps you. It helps your mind. And hopefully this video helps someone out there who's trying to get in shape. So the two red routines I recommend are full body or push, pull legs or push, legs, pull. One of those for beginners and, and start with moderation. Just Google them. Just look for the actual routine. Pick something that is, you know, popular and simple. Don't overdo it. Uh, maybe, maybe take some stuff out from whatever you find on the internet. Um, and yeah, just don't overdo it. Right? There's a lot of routines out there. There's a lot of people with strong opinions about workout routines. The biggest thing is that you get in there and you do it and you're consistent and that you don't get hurt, right? You don't want to get hurt because once you get hurt, you can't continue to work out. That, that's what stops everyone from working out is, well, they're either they give up because they get lazy and tired or they get hurt. So getting hurt is a very, very common one. You know, you just don't overdo it. Stay consistent and yeah, train your body, train your mind. Good luck.